This is a modern Coolidge tube where the X-rays are produced when fast-moving electrons strike a target of suitable material. The basic requirement for the production of X-rays are a source of electrons, the effective means of accelerating the electrons, a target of suitable material of high atomic weight. This is your modern Coolidge tube which consists of highly evacuated hard glass bulb containing a cathode and an anode target. The pressure inside the tube is 10 power minus 6 mm of mercury. You are able to see the cathode which will hit the anode and the electrons are ejected. Automatically the X-rays are blown out. This is your lead casing and this is your metal shielding. And you got your glass tube here. This is a glass tube. Through this window, the X-rays are produced. If we talk about the production of X-rays, you are able to see the cathode is a tungsten filament F. And is heated by passing a current through it from a low tension battery. The electrons are emitted by the process of thermionic emission from the cathode. The filament F is surrounded by a molybdenum cylinder G. It is kept at a negative potential to the filament. Hence the electron emitted from the filament are culminated into a fine pencil of electron B. So this is a molybdenum cylinder. The target T consists of a copper block in which a piece of tungsten or molybdenum is fixed. And the anode will be having the following characteristics. It got a high atomic weight to produce hard X-rays. It's having a high melting point so that it is not melted due to the bombardment of fast moving electrons, which causes lot of heat generation. It got high thermal conductivity to carry away the heat generator. This is a target T. Moving further, the face of the copper anode is sloped at about 45 degree to the electron beam. Being the good conductor of heat, copper helps to conduct heat efficiently to the water cooling system. The high potential of about 20 kV is applied between filament and the target. Due to the high potential difference, the electrons emitted from the filament are accelerated. When these accelerated electrons strike the target, they give up their kinetic energy and your X-rays are produced. If we talk about the intensity of X-rays, it depends upon the number of electrons striking the target. The rate of emission of electrons from the filament too. This can be controlled by varying the filament current.